Yo, 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 it is me, the Minion from All Cast Irish Gamers. That's my gamer tag. Write it down, stick yours in the comments. We'll get a duel at some stage. Also, you'd be doing me a huge, huge favour if you could like and subscribe. That's right, guys. I am back with another deck recipe for you. Let's get this started. It's Adventure Dragon Link. You get your one Cyframe driver because he's the ultimate brick. You gotta have him in there. You got two Rocket Synchron and two Gamma. I wish you could have three of this card. One of my favourite hand traps. Cyframe Gear Gamma, you gotta play him. Trust me, great in Dragon Link. Uh, I've gone with Ghost Ogre in this format because it really, really helps against a lot of the decks that you're gonna be playing against. You know, Flu and stuff. So yeah, gotta have Ghost Ogre in there. And I've also gone with the Rose Dragon package. So you got your Rose Dragon, your Rocks Rose, and of course the Basil Rose shoot as well later on. But they're really, really good for going into Baron, so I do suggest playing it. And of course, two copies of Water Enchantress. I did try playing her out just one, but two is the optimal number, so I do advise playing two copies of her. Uh, White Dragon Wyver Buster, and of course the Black Dragon, because they are your baby Chaos Dragons, and you're going to need them. They, they really help extend, go into further plays, you can recycle them with Chaos Space. Just great, great cards to have. Uh, one copy of Snow, totally broken card. The fact that that came out the ban list in uh, the TCG is insane. Super, super good card. Uh, two Rocket Tracer. I found two is enough because at the end of the day it is searchable. So yeah, just two copies for now seems to do the trick. And uh, one Recharger to help go into those uh, Synchro 8 plays. Uh, you gotta have at least one 4 star non-tuner in there. Uh, three Safer because it searches whatever you want basically. And just top, top normal summon. Uh, Artifact Lancia I've gone with over Maxi because with the amount of flunderies, just Maxi wasn't cutting it for me. I was setting it in defense mode a lot. At least with Lancia, it, it hurt, hits a lot of decks. It can also hit the uh, adventure uh, cards as well. If you notice that they discard Enchantress, you pop Lancia. They can't banish it to add uh, right of Armacy. Uh, we got Noctovision as well because. You know, Noctovision is just a great card, gets that extra draw. Uh, we got a Wandering Griffin Rider, just a free special summon of a level 7, so really, really good card to have. Uh, and of course, it's an Omni Negate. Uh, Levineer, brilliant card, one of the best cards in the deck. Chaos Emperor Dragon, uh, just fantastic, great for recovery plays. And Red Eyes Darkness. This card is your main target for Seal, because it'll help go into a Link 2. So, yeah, just really really good card to have in the deck and of course one nibiru you gotta have nibiru respect the nib guys i've thrown in one copy of foolish burial because it helps get enchantress in the graveyard and of course it can also send absolute as well so bear that in mind uh, chaos space the best spell card in the deck searches out nearly any dragon you want it's great for recovery and gets you that extra draw as well so really good card to utilize uh, to right of Aramisir because this card, I mean, this card alone will win you games. Activate right. The end. You win. It's just that easy. Guys just can't deal with the adventure token at all. They quit. They just they, they can't handle it. They see where it's going. Uh, I've got one copy of Draco back. That's all you really need. You know, it's searchable from the deck at the end of the day. Uh, you know with the continuous card and of course you can use your rocket tracer to pop it and you know you get that free special summon and then Draco back just place itself back on the field straight afterwards so it's great card to utilize you can destroy it it brings itself back and on your turn you can use it to spin or send the opponent's card from their field back to their hand without targeting it's just a really really good card to have in there but one is just the most amount you'll play uh, dragon's ravine one copy and boot sector they're your field spells you're just gonna need one copy of each i've seen a few people play two dragon's ravine you don't you don't need to do that uh, i've only gone with one faithful adventure because it's it, it's placed on the field by uh, right so i found two was a little bit bricky it was getting stuck in my hand and you can only use its effects once per turn anyway. So yeah, I think one is enough. If you think the ratios should be different and I should be playing more, please let me know in the comments. Uh, we've got two Cosmic Cyclone because floodgates are a thing and they will end this deck. Uh, three copies of Quick Launch. N need more be said. I mean, go-to card. Gotta have three of it. Two caught by the Grave. What a card. 
best quick play card in the game. Prove me wrong. Uh, Basil Rose Shoot as the you know third card of your Rose Dragon package. Just a good extender helps get another body on the field. And three copies of Infinite Permanence. I did drop it to two, but I put it back up to three because it's just fantastic. Uh, Barload Savage, self-explanatory. I mean, Chaos Ruler, Hot Red. These three cards are staples for any Dragon Link deck. Ask anybody, they will tell you you got to be running these three cards because they're great. I mean, you can use Hot Red to do a bit of battle damage. He'll bring back a tuner. You bring back Rocket Synchron, and then you use Rocket Synchron and Hot Red to come into Baron. And there you go. You've got your Negate with Baron, and then on your turn, you can bounce Baron back to the extra deck and summon back out Hot Red. And keep that little system going it's it's really good as long as you don't get locked under darks that's a good tactic to do uh lance uh lancelot he's gone in there as my uh, my rank eight play i was playing Ding Gersu, but you know having the ability to just jump over your opponent's monster sometimes it could come in handy it could win you the game uh pisty that's you know speaks for itself pisty's a one-off strikers are a one-off you can play more than one striker if you want, but I'm very short in extra space, so I'm not. Uh, one copy of Heretic Seal. Fantastic interruption. Doesn't target. Bounces a card back to your opponent's hand, and it gets you a special summon from the deck. So, great card to have in there. Halka Fibrax is only in here temporarily. I do have a feeling he's going to get banned soon, so don't rely on Halk too much. But he is nice to have while we have access to him. Uh, Romulus, another good card. Searches your Dragon's Ravine. It has an effect to special summon, but it negates the monster's effect and it can't be used as link material, so wouldn't advise using it a lot. Quad Barrel, just a good way of, you know, getting rid of your monsters, getting him on the field, tributing him, getting two monsters back, going into Savage. That's it. Uh, IP, just fantastic. I love going into IP and then Unicorn, and it just ends people. It's really, really good interruption on your opponent's turn. Yeah, it costs you a discard, but... This IP Mascarina, Unicorn, gets rid of a problem. Trust me, go with them. You'll love it. Uh, triple Burst is in there to help facilitate your Pisty plays. And then, of course, leads you into Access Code. I've gone with Access Code now because of the advice of someone in, in the comments. They said try them. I haven't looked back. I think Access Code is the future now. Bye bye, Borrow Sword. Access Code all the way. So thanks, guys. Let me know what you think of the Adventure Package. And I'll see you next time.